Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to talk about a new topic in Cookery 10, which is starch and cereals. Are you ready to learn? I hope that you are, because this is an interesting topic that you can use in your daily life and in your future. So, let's get started. Our objectives First, identify the types of grains, whole grains, and cereal, and its nutritional value. Second, describe the different kinds of starch and its characteristics. Third, differentiate the methods of cooking starch. And lastly, recognize the importance of starch in many dishes. This term is a derivative from the Latin word cerealis, meaning grain, which is botanically a type of fruit called a chiropsis, composed of the endosperm, germ, and bran. Cereals are annual common grass members of the grass family, also known as Germaniae, which usually have long, thin stalks such as wheat, rice, maize, sorghum, millet, barley, and rye, whose starchy grains are used as food. Now, let us look in this illustration. Grain anatomy. It indicates three parts. You have the bran, which is the outer layer of the grain. The endosperm, the main part of the grain. And germ, the smallest part of the grain. Its nutritional value is also indicated in the text. Now, most cereal grains are used for making flour, pasta, breakfast cereal, alcoholic beverages, and animal feeds. Let's move forward to the types of cereals. Wheat is the most common cereal product in the Western world, and it is used in making bread, muffins, noodles, pasta, biscuits, cakes, pastries, confectionery, and other culinary applications. Oats are one of the hardest cereals. Oats are used in roll oats porridge, oatmeal porridge, thickening soups, coating food, cakes, and biscuits. Barley. It is made of pearl barley when the grains are husked, steamed, rounded and polished. These products are used for making barley water for thickening soups and certain stews. When roasted, barley is changed into malt and as such is used extensively in the brewing and distilling of vinegar. Corn. This is processed into corn flakes and corn flour. Corn yields good oil suitable for cooking. Rice is classified according to its mode of cultivation 
grain length and texture. These are white, converted, instant, brown, wild, glutinous, specialty rice bran, and wild rice. This is common to us Filipinos as our staple food. Let's talk about nutritional value of cereal grains. Grains are economically source of carbohydrates or energy. The protein is relatively low in biological value relative to meat, fish, eggs, and milk. Cereals are important sources of many nutrients including fibers, B vitamins, and minerals. There is a long list of benefits for cereals. This is why people include cereals as a significant part of their daily diet to help the whole family meet the recommended daily amount of certain nutrients. A cup of cooked cereal, grain, or pasta contains about 160 calories, 30 grams of carbohydrates, 6 grams of protein, some vitamins and minerals, and a trace of fat. Whole grain products provide additional fiber. Carbohydrates Grains are excellent source of complex carbohydrates. At least 6 to 11 servings a day of grains, in the form of bread, cereals, rice, or pasta, fulfill the Food Guide Pyramid's dietary recommendation that a large portion of calories be derived from carbohydrates. Fiber Whole grain products are good source of soluble fiber, which has been shown to reduce high blood cholesterol and help stabilize high blood glucose, and of insoluble fiber, which may help to reduce the risk of colon cancer. Vitamins and Minerals Unfortunately, grains are low in many vitamins and minerals because the milling process removes the husk, bran, and germ includes the nutrients. Certain vitamins are lost during this milling process. Fat Cereals are very low in fat and contain no cholesterol. A slice of bread averages only 100 calories, but spreading a tablespoon of butter, margarine, mayonnaise, or peanut butter on the bread adds another 100 calories and about 10 grams of fat. Alright, so this ends this part of this lesson. There will be succeeding videos to follow this one that will tackle the other concepts about starch and cereals. So, if you have any questions regarding this part of the lesson or would like to learn more, please comment down below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sir D. See you next time and have a great day ahead. Thank you.